Welcome back to the Pack Bros channel. I'm Rob. I'm Chris. And today we're breaking a box of 2324 credentials. I was kind of hesitant to buy this product because historically it does not do very well. Um, I know some of the past years are still selling for as low as 80 bucks after being released in the high hundreds. I will likely jump back into this just because it's a Bedard product when the price comes down. But we thought we'd give it a go. I got in at 185 Canadian uh, flat from a local hobby shop. And the last three digits are 366. Three is my number, 66 is Lemieux. So I'm so, like, I had to. There must be a Bedard in here. I had to, I had to, I had to. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta break this Bedard dry streak that way. Yeah, on. we've really only hit one good Bedard. Yeah, and we, we've had some inserts. We've yeah. hit his portraits. Uh, some other stuff here and there, but no, nothing crazy. Just like basic no. inserts. And the one that we hit was from the freaking the the rookie box set. Then we hit the, oh, yeah. hit the parallel. Yeah, that was the, the that's parallel. a good hit. What was that out of like five hundred? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. So obviously we're looking for 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 Bedard rookie out of this. Um, there's oh, obviously other rookies as they're well. They're hard signed. They are hard signed. Cool. Not all of them are hard signed. The debut access tickets are hard signed. Oh, okay. Uh, but there's no guarantee. There's no yep. auto guarantee in here. Yep. All right. We're looking at eight packs here. Five cards per pack. One of one retro ticket access autographs card featuring a league superstar. There's some cool stuff to come wow. out of this. I'm not going to lie. And the design is pretty neat. They kind of got like a 90s. I was just about to say that. Uh, spin on it. You'll see when I start. The, uh, the pack looks straight out of like Saved by the Bell. Yeah. 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 Uh, Morgan Frost. Nick Schmaltz. Vincent DeHarnay. Highly anticipated. A powerful mustache. Speed of the game rookie of Aiden McDonough. Kuznetsov base and a Stutzla base. Two hits in the middle. Also, that was six cards. Oh, it says six cards. I'm an idiot. Huh. It's six cards per pack, not five. Panarin. Kachuk. See some color. Who's next? Uh, Devin Levi. And a Luke Phillip debut ticket access. Wrong Blackhawk uh, at a 9.99. Or sorry, Luke Phillip. Oh, my bad. I don't know if it's a type or that's real anymore. Not the Blackhawk we wanted. It's always a different Blackhawk. There's a lot of them, ironically, in yep. uh, in this in this product. I mean, not ironic. Obviously, they're in rebuild mode. <laughs> I'll just pull off the back quickly here, too. There's the base, the base. We got Marner on top. Highly anticipated of Hunter McCowan? 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 I don't know. I can't tell because of the font. And a highly <laughs> anticipated auto of Daniil Gushin. Okay. Want more. So now we're looking for serial numbered cards of Bedard. Could we get more than one auto? Doubt it. Who's best? Leon Dreisaitl and a Matt Murray debut ticket access. Number to 10. Damn. I just saw that. Oh, that's really nice. Nine out of 10. Number to 10. Really Damn. hard to see, but cool. So you got you got three numbered cards on your side plus an auto. Two. Two? Two numbered cards. Oh, was one out of 9.99 in the 10? Yes. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, on to my side. We got Byfield on top. Matt Boldy. Is that rookie? No. No? Oh, no, Boldy was the year previous. It's hard to keep up with the rookies because they've pumped out so much product all at once to get the Bedard yeah. stuff going. And, and there's so many different very years. blurry. There's so yeah. many different years going at the same time. Normally, it's very clear, but it's been weird since... Uh... Yeah. Leo Carlson? Sorry. Right. On the highly anticipated insert. It's going to be numbered. What is it? Fairy year. Out of... Is it not numbered? I'm not seeing one. It should be on, like, the side. No? Yeah, yeah, mine's on the side here. Yeah, That's I'm not weird. seeing it. Flip it? Nothing. I'm looking really hard, and I can't see a number. I don't know. Maybe it's a parallel. All right. Next pack. Marshawn. Beneers. Best. Who's best? Mm, not Brad Winter. Not Brad him. Winter. Not him. Speed of the game. Dylan Cousins. Actually, we should put some respect on his name. You just want to talk. Second last pack of the box. We got Nico Heischer. Rasmus Dali. Matthew Nyes. Mm -hmm. Highly anticipated. Kushnevich. I don't even know what the hell that is. I don't know either. It's a base. It's a base parallel. Base parallel. I didn't see a number there. All right. Last pack of luck. Can we just... Let, let's hope for a Bedard insert at the very least. Here we go. We got Kaprizov, Sebastian Ajo. Who's next of Slavkovsky? And Dustin Wolf out of five ninety nine. All right. And Bedard evades us yet again. Once again. Once again. Well, I'll say this: we got 
three numbered cards. One is a rookie at a 10. One is Dustin Wolf, which is not a bad rookie to get. Mm -hmm. And then we got an auto. Which given, isn't guaranteed. Yeah, which isn't guaranteed. Given that the product doesn't guarantee an auto, I think we did okay. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to have got better names. That's for sure. Um, and I don't know what the hell this is. This is a parallel. So that's a parallel too, I, I guess. I mean, it is rookie, so that's not bad either. Yeah. Um, so this is probably what an average box looked like, just kind of swinging and missing on the name a little bit. Um, a couple of number cards, an auto card. I, I think we did okay. Just uh, yeah, we did all right. <coughs> not the right, uh, not the right names. Yeah. Some of the names weren't like terrible too. No, we did okay. We got Leo Carlson. We did okay. Matthew Nyes, Dustin Wolf. Like like they're decent. They're decent. Yeah, we did they, okay. They, they just don't have that hype train behind them like Bedard yeah. does. You know. Yeah. They're still solid players though. I wonder. I wonder if this is a parallel situation. Maybe it's similar to the the gold uh, ticket that we got Maybe. there. Maybe. You know? We'll no, do a little bit of okay. research afterwards, or if you guys want to let us know if you've opened some yeah, credentials, you guys then, faster than us. Yeah, then um, leave some comments down below and let us know. Yeah, um, what some of the stuff that I've we never heard of this is. guy though. This this like uh, Matt Murray. I mean, I've heard of Matt Murray. I've never heard of Matt Murray. You know what I'm saying? Well, there you have it. I mean, let us know if, if our feedback is correct. Is this a pretty average box of credentials, or are we way off here? Um, would I do this again? Uh, I would do it again for the right price. Is kind of where I'm at on, yeah. on a sale. I would definitely crack one because a chance at Bedard stuff at the right price is is worthwhile. But that's probably about it from my perspective. What are what are your thoughts? I'm I'm pretty much in agreement. <clears throat> I, I would only go back in on a sale and considering Credentials history, um, it's probably going to go on sale. It will. Again. It almost guaranteed. Yeah, will. it's like a 99 percent chance. And we've seen other products of Bedards that are on sale right now. Yes. Um, that are better than credentials yeah. so it's almost guaranteed that it'll go on sale how much of a sale will it go on we'll have to wait and find out if they're only like 10 20 bucks on sale i'll probably still it's avoid still it one. if it's like 30 40 50 i would consider it um but yeah I, I actually think this is my first time opening credentials i actually don't think i've opened up a box either i've, I've cracked some packs yeah. like some straight packs here and there but i don't think i've ever actually opened yeah. up a full box of it so I, um, I do like the designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I the, like the, the design designs too. are cool. Going back to the '90s is really nostalgic for both of us. Yeah. Um, so having that like Saved by the Bell kind of <laughs> aesthetic is pretty cool. So yeah. I like that. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was an okay break. It was all right. Yeah, I, I have to agree. Yeah. And um, and um, I mean, I think I think the timing is right now. We're in late August. The hockey season starts not that long down the road. I think once the season starts, all all stuff is going to go up if Bedard starts playing well. Obviously. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. If Bedard so, starts this season, just freaking on a tear, all his drawing it. Are go up. So hopefully maybe we can catch a little window before the season starts that that hobby shops put this on sale for 30, 40 bucks. And I would hop into one and uh, in, like for one, one thirty, one forty. Yeah. And try our luck. All right. All right. Pack rolls out of packs. We're out of time. See you guys later.